Hi Leo. This is like my, this is my first restart, my second restart. Um, I've done another reading over on IGTV. Gosh, that's weird. I wouldn't say it's not something I'm proud of. I'm proud of everything I put out. So that's not something that I say. Maybe that's something. It was not what I was expecting. Not that I have a lot of expectations, but I usually don't expect to go that dark. I kind of think went into that more in like one of the earlier tries. Um, so maybe that's why I'm just like cutting things short. I don't know where, Leo, where are you at? This is the second time I have felt this energy. Maybe you don't know where you're at. Like the other reading, I was just like, yeah, Leo's feeling great and wonderful. And then we just like kind of spiraled into some old generational things that come up. And maybe that's just where you're at. Maybe you're just in that void. I definitely was there the past like week. I had an eye infection. I haven't been able to like, like I'm in a new place. I wanted to like go take some photos and visit the park and see different dogs at the dog park and all these things that I wanted to do and I was unable to do it. So maybe this is just like frustration or a block because I'm like, this is the second time that I'm feeling the same way. This is your energy, it's not mine. So I don't know where you're at, um, but I feel like we're tapping into it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get a pass to energy for Leo, please. Woo! Throat chakra, commitment. Hey, hey, or not wanting to speak, that was in reverse. Commitment, commitment to oneself, commitment to speaking the truth, I don't know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just clarify that right away because I just wanna get into this. Like, I don't wanna, I've been babbling on and on and it, when I say babbling, that almost like diminishes what I'm having to say. I've been channeling a lot. This is a watery Scorpio moon and I've been channeling a lot. Um, so there's just definitely a lot of like, where I'm like, where did that come from? And that wasn't my intention. And then I'm like, this is like the real stuff. And before I was doing like tarot light, like I wasn't like putting anything that what people, I was still getting messages, but I just wasn't being as open, you know, cause I don't want to hurt people's feelings or go too deep, but it's time to go deep, right? It's time to figure out what our triggers are or whatever. Cause I am realizing more and more. Man, if you can be triggered, that means you can be controlled. And that's no bueno. So what was this commitment about? And we'll, let's ask one question at a time. What was the commitment about? Thoughts, spirituality, and the mice. Thinking spirituality would eat away at you or it was something that would take away from you clarify what's not being spoken with this um throat chakra in reverse Ooh, something about a karmic and a marriage or a commitment let's say commitment the marriage card is all about commitment it does come out when it could be about marriage so something's not being said so you're thinking spirituality is eating away. Wow, oh, I just gotta see. This is where it all connects in because I just got this vibe of this church that my parents took us to when I was younger called, well, I won't use the word, but it was, you know, it's like thoughts, spirituality, eating away. And then we're talking about marriage and karmics and it just has that really churchy vibe of like church politics. And I'm really not trying to go after anybody, but like, this is apparently for somebody that's thinking that spirituality is just not what it is. And it may just be like the structure of the church. It may not be spirituality because like, I believe in Jesus more than I ever have before I got into expanding my spirituality and believing in everything and realizing that like every religion, every person that comes out having said they, they, there is a validation there like i i no longer say oh i don't believe in that i'm like oh i believe in it until i'm proven wrong i believe in your gods i believe in my god i believe in all gods i believe in it all because i know what i do not know the only thing i do know like literally and i know that's just cliche 
but it's so true. Like what I don't know is so expansive. So if I just come from the place where I believe in it all, because man, not believing is so limiting. <laughs> Like spiritually, physically, mentally, like social IQ wise, like it is limiting. Where are we going with it? We're going with the animals. Like, let's just like, this is my go-to. Cause this is talking about, oh no, we're not. It is my go-to. But this is talking about a relationship. What's the present energy that we're going? Transparency, my gosh. This keeps coming up. What are we being transparent about here in this reading? Now I'm like completely. <sighs> it's the public garden. It's every it's transparency on transparency of just being putting everything out there. And look, I feel like they even have the same like glow line here. Do you see that? Like how it's like being open, being public, like literally the garden means about being public and what does transparency mean? Being transparent about what? What are you being transparent? Oh wow, that's a thick work. Messages, I don't take these. Community, what you do, what you say, who you be. Leo, snapping back, snapping me back into this. I love that, right? Walking away from a commitment, walking away from thoughts that don't serve you, walking away from beliefs that just didn't work for you, saying this is who I am, this is how I be in my personal life, in my speech, and how I treat other people. I love it so much. Future. Talk about third chakra. There we go, all of these blues. Oh my gosh, that's the second time, right? Yeah. Third chakra, fifth chakra, throat, throat. You're just speaking, you're out, you're out and loud and proud and grace. So let's freaking. I'm like, what, tell me about grace. What is the grace about? What is, clarify grace? About a lovership, a lovership, but a lovership can just be you know, I mean, if we were talking tarot, yes, it would be a decision. Technically, since we are dealing with the Lenormand, it does usually mean something specifically about a lovership. Um, I say a lovership because I feel like loverships are, are more transactionally, like, I, this is what I bring to the table, this is what you bring to the table, and, you know, versus relationship a lot of times. A lot of things um, can be skewed and there's a lot of, you know, there's an 80-20 and sacrifice and this, that, and the other and a lovership is when I feel when two people are just coming together with the same uh, symbiotic six of pentacles. Like, oh my gosh, and here we're hearkening back, I think, to the Aries reading. Um, clarify more in dreams. I love that. I mean, oh, thief. Thief in reverse. Thief in reverse. Are we taking reversals here? What is there a taking of? Concern, okay, concern is the thief, right? Doubt, don't doubt Leo, like it's kind of like one of the, you're like, oh, Leo with the fabulous hair, Leo's don't doubt, but it's actually one of the biggest downfalls of a Leo is for a Leo to doubt themselves, right? Because it'll take you out at the knees. You can have that huge lion spirit, but you have that one little needle of doubt and you touch the Achilles heel and boom, it'll go down. Move forward, believe, be mature. Maturity means that you've moved through time and you have experiences, which means that you have proof and so, but you also don't want to be that person. I was just listening to this um, interview with Edie. Uh, gosh, and I can't pronounce her last name, and I feel bad about that, but she's a Secret Service agent. And she talks about, um, you know, uh, what do they call it when you're in an interview or an interrogation? Um, confirmation bias. And if you believe something, then everything that you believe like no matter what type of evidence 
that goes that's contradictory towards it or whatever it will always fit it will always slide in obviously that's coming up for a reason it's like because I know that happens for me it's like it's very easy for me to slip into like that's not gonna happen because it never does and whatever it never does because that's what I thought it would always happen like that's the vicious cycle of so it's breaking through like mentally sometimes you know like sometimes mentally breaking through a physical response you know, the fear threshold I got from one of my spiritual mamas is like just stepping past that and breaking through it. I just watched this video with, um, I'm going to say Billy Idol. It's not that. Billy Eilish. And her foot goes through the piece of paper, which is just a piece of paper, right? This yellow piece of paper. And it puts her into this whole um, life of, or world of things or whatever and then like she retracts it and everything retracts like in the video and what have you and I don't know that's why that's coming up but it felt like it needed to. I don't know if I'm going to publish this. It feels odd. Maybe that's just where you're at Leo. Alright. <laughs> 